Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Okoro. If you are new here, thank you for joining us. And if you are not new, thank you for coming back. So today we are actually going to be starting a new series that we are titling Battle of the Brands. And I felt like the most appropriate first round to go for would be the Fenty Beauty Foundations versus the new Huda Beauty Foundations. On the right side of my face, I have the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Instant Retouch Primer as well as the Pro Filter Foundations. And then on the left side of my face, I actually have the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base as well as the Huda Beauty Foundation in the shade Nutmeg. So. We are going to be testing for longevity. We're going to be testing for, you know, settling into fine lines. We're gonna be testing these foundations all around. So right now, the current time is actually, it's 3.24 a.m. currently. I actually have a flight at 6 a.m. so I do need to get going. Do not forget to subscribe, subscribe, click the subscribe button down below so that you are updated whenever new videos do come on the scene you don't want to miss out on these um and so that you do become part of the fans without further ado let's get started let's get into this video and i am going to do a giveaway of the longest lasting foundation okay so whichever foundation does win out that's the one that will be the prize for the giveaway but you will have to stay tuned till the end in order to see exactly how that plays out, obviously. Um, so yeah, enjoy the video and I will see you guys very soon. Am I the only one who thinks it's quite a coincidence that both of these foundations kind of sound the same? Full filter versus pro filter. I'm gonna be doing a half and half of Huda Beauty hashtag full filter foundation on my left side and the Fenty Beauty Pro filter foundations are going to be on my right side. I am going to be wearing this makeup for quite some time, so I am putting just a bit of milk of magnesia um, on my T zone because I know neither of these primers are going to hold up. Closer. Okay, it does come out in a nice, thick, creamy consistency. And I'm just going to go in on my face. So. This primer has a nice light scent. It's not very strong um, at all. Now, this side looks more on the gray, like on the grayer side. I zoomed in a little further just so you can kind of see what is going on. This side of my face is definitely, definitely has some like grayscale going on. So now on the left side of my face, I am going to go in with the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. Product comes out. Okay, you can see it's a lot thicker than the Fenty Beauty Primer. I'm also gonna go in with my hand with a clean finger and apply this onto my face. Now the scent on this one, I will say, is definitely stronger. So if you are sensitive to um, fragrance and fragrance in beauty products. I don't know if you will necessarily be a fan of this. Um, however, it's very hydrating, very hydrating. It's a nice thick moisturizer. I do feel that both of these primers, honestly, if you do have drier skin, you will like this. More so the Huda Beauty uh, primer than the Fenty one and you can see instantly the difference between the two sides. This side is definitely more hydrated, more supple, and this side is like dry to the touch, okay? So they're complete opposites. This is a shine stopping primer and this is a hydrating makeup base that creates a smooth canvas while gripping makeup and moisturizing the skin. So this is supposed to keep your skin nice, supple, and you know hydrated while this is supposed to stop the shine for a more mattifying primer if that's what you're looking for a more mattifying primer this will run for 32 a hydrating makeup base this will run for $35 with the Fenty foundations like I mentioned before I do have to mix two shades just to show you the consistency of this foundation I'm going to just squeeze 
the pump out here. Okay, you can see it's very runny. Definitely very runny. Now these do say to shake oil, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shake these up before I actually go in and use them. I'm going to squeeze one pump of 490. Well, actually, I really only need half of the pump since I'm only doing half my face right. Let me think this through. And then I'm going to squeeze in two of these. Okay, that's the ratio I, I usually go for, one to two, okay? This is the shade. I'm trying to work in sections and at the same time work really fast because this foundation dries matte AF. So this is what it looks like, the Fenty foundation. It's really nice, it's very matte. I don't need a powder with it um, and I can say that too you know I've worn this foundation a few times and you don't necessarily have to powder your face it does cover up as you can see it covers up the discoloration um, very nicely as you can see it took all three pumps that I used um, of the foundation to cover half my face so, and I don't have like a lot of blemishes or you know things to cover on my face so you're looking at quite a few pumps in order to cover, you know, blemishes and stuff. So I, I would call this more of a medium coverage for sure. So now we're gonna look at the Huda foundation on the left side of my face. This is the shade 520G. So I'm going to show you how the foundation comes out. Okay. You can see. <laughs> This is a thick, she is thick, okay? And they claim that you can cover your face with just one pump, so. So now I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Foundation. Okay, so right off the bat, you can definitely see the color difference. And this shit is so thick, oh my God. You can see I haven't, I still haven't finished what's on the back of my hand and I am done covering, <laughs> I'm pretty much done covering my face. I'm done covering this half of my face. Okay, let me just. It took less than half a pump because I still have the rest of it here. You can see the foundation is still on my hand. This took three pumps for the Fenty foundation to cover, and then it took less than half a pump for the Huda Beauty foundation to cover up. But that doesn't mean that the Fenty won't hold out longer than the Huda Beauty foundation, because really that's gonna be the ultimate test. So the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation is actually a long wearing matte, soft matte foundation and retails for $34. The Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation retails for $40. It's a fade proof formula blends seamlessly with skin, leaving it matte with a hint of sheen for a luminous appearance. So from looking at it, you can see that the left side of my face has more like golden olive undertones, which is definitely a lot more similar to the undertones I naturally have versus the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation, which seems to have more red, more cooler gray undertones versus my golden olive, you know, olive green undertones. In terms of my foundation being dry to the touch, I will definitely say that the Fenty foundation takes the win on that. It is definitely dry to the touch. I feel like I definitely don't need any sort of powder on this side of my face versus on this side of my face. I can definitely still feel it's a little tacky. It has, I have given it time to dry down, um, but it may also just be the primer, which is, cause you know, it's very hydrating and moisturizing, which is acting to make it feel more supple. I'm going to go do finish the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come back on camera and then we're gonna go through the day okay guys so this is the finished look I just did something really quickly 
So I'm going to head to the airport now. I'm gonna check in with you guys a little later just to see how things are going. And then when we, when I get to Toronto, we'll continue on with the rest of the day and kind of see where things go. All right, great, see y'all soon. It's 4.30 a.m. I finally gotten some food. You guys are really gonna see like texture and stuff on my skin, but I think everything looks pretty matte. So far, I don't have any complaints whatsoever. So I'm home now, I wanna do a check. I'm looking at both the left and right side of my face and I don't know if you can see right here, this is the Fenty side. You can see some shine is starting to pull through here, okay, around my nose area. And then over on this side, there is a little shine but I feel like there's more shine on the Fenty side than on the Huda Beauty side, so. I will keep y'all posted. So, I don't know if you guys can see right here on the Fenty side, there is oil blue handle. It is currently 2.46 p.m. right now, so that's like 11 and a half hours since I first put the foundations on. So there's a bit of oils building up on this side. Ooh, looks like MJ's here. And then on this side over here, on the Huda Beauty side, you can see that overall there is more of a, a sheen. They're both still holding up really well. This feels more like moisturized, more hydrated. This is definitely dry to the touch. So on one side of my face, I have the Huda Beauty foundation, and on the other side, I have the Fenty. This one looks better. This side looks better? Yeah. Okay, so she thinks that the left side looks better right now. This is after 12 hours That's of work. Right yeah, my right side, which is the Fenty side. So she thinks the Fenty side looks better. Okay, so now I'm currently at the Mac store picking up a few items. And I'm noticing some... The lighting here is really interesting. So this is the Fenty side, as you can see. Lots of oil production around my nose on both sides, but the Fenty, my face is still really dry. Like I just really produce oils only in the center of my face. And then above my brows here too now, it's really oily. Anyways, I'll pick up a few items and I think I'm the, this is the perfect time to do like this is my final review because now it's been 12, 13, 14, 15. It's been 15 hours since I've had both of these foundations on and they are both starting to crumble. Like you can see on the uh, Huda Beauty side, you can see my pores are starting to raise a lot. And then on the Fenty side as well. However, I will definitely say that the Fenty side definitely held up a lot longer because of, just because of how matte the foundation is so I definitely will have to give that however in terms of comfort the way each side of my face feels I will say that the Huda Beauty side does feel a lot better it, it still feels yeah the Huda Beauty side feels more comfortable my face feels tighter on the Fenty side and like I said before I have com uh, dry combination skin so my skin is you know dry but oily in my t-zone which is why I'm not like getting oily everywhere else um, but both of these foundations held up. Like it does not look like I've had this makeup on for 15 hours. I'm just right. Okay. What do you think of the of the foundation? The left side is better. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, definitely the Fenty won out on the longevity uh, when it comes to longevity of these foundations. So that's what the giveaway will be on the Fenty foundation. So yeah. Okay. So that concludes our. First round of Battle of the Brands. What did you guys think? What other products would you like to see in another round of Battle of the Brands? Let me know in the comments section down below. Which one of these two have you tried out and which ones do you look forward to trying out now that you have seen the results of this video? Anyways, I hope to see you guys very soon. Don't forget to check out some of my previous videos. I have done reviews on both of these foundations separately. I hope to see you guys very soon in my next tutorial. Stay blessed and stay golden.